This question is about electricity, and more specifically, it's about electric field strength. So here we're told that we have a positive charge that's uniformly distributed uh, around this sort of semicircle here, and they say it's made of plastic. So uh, let's talk about the charge of this. So that means there's a whole bunch of uh, positive charges here. So there's positive charges all over the place here. Now, uh, they ask, what's the direction of the electric field strength? So step one in a question like this, if you don't know what to do, even if you're not an expert on this stuff, I think you can actually figure this out. You can mostly do it. The trick is to decode this and look up, all right, what's electric field strength? You do kind of have to know that that is given by this letter E. I normally put a vector on it. And then you can go hunting for an equation for it. And in uh, this uh, topic, you can find an equation that relates the force over Q. So really, if you look at this, what it tells you that the electric field strength is proportional to the force. In other words, whatever, I mean, of course, you divide by a charge, but we don't need to quantify. We don't need to know the number. We just need to know the direction. So if you look at this, the direction then, this is really what it tells us, right? So the direction, uh, maybe I'll write that down, direction of the electric field strength will be the same, that's the important part, right? As direction of force. Uh, so that's what's important. So if we can then just figure out where the force goes, that'll tell us where the electric field strength will go. That made it a lot easier, I think. So if we imagine this, then we have this point, I think they call it S. So at this point, you just have to think about how we define electric fields here. We always define them as the direction that a positive test charge would go. That's the key to these things here. That's always this right here. You have to imagine that that right there is a positive test char charge. So what I mean by that, you just have to imagine a little imaginary positive just being placed right here. Imagine a little plus is placed here and then you let it go. Where will it go? Well, you think about it from this side right here, there's a plus over here and a plus is going to take that plus and make it want to go to the right, won't it? So that's why uh, there will be at least one line to the right. This is the direction of the force, but it'll also be the direction of the electric field strength. Uh, now look at this one. How about from the top right here? We're going to have pieces, you know, sort of this one right here is going to make that one want to go down. But this one over here is going to make that one want to go up. So do you see there's going to be all these different components like this? But the good news is because of symmetry, do you see the top ones and the bottom ones, they'll cancel out? So that's the key thing. So top and bottom. In other words, what I mean by that really, we should maybe state it, it's the vertical part. Those all cancel out. So all that remains, let's think about it, the only thing remaining then is the arrow to the right. So that's why that's the answer. The answer is, uh, in this case right here, the answer is B, that it goes that way. All right, and that's because this one right here, that'll be the only one that remains. Because all the other ones are all going to cancel themselves out, but there's still going to be this vector to the right. Well, they won't fully cancel each other out, just the vertical component will cancel out. There'll still be that horizontal left, so you could add up all the pieces and figure out the result, but it'll be to the right. It'll go flying to the right. 